box. Never had one of these before. I did have a couple friends, or I do have a couple friends, who had this subscription for a while, and it was pretty cool for them to bring their stuff to work and things and just see what was in the box, and that was years ago. And I always kind of wanted a battle box, but I just like, no, I never did it. But BattleBox reached out to me and said, hey, Trip, I want to send you a box for you to open and see what's inside and share with your audience. I said, sure, <laughs> why not? I would love to open a box of goodies. So let's open our battle box. This is going to be the top tier battle box. Let's see what we get here. And really, I haven't even watched videos of these things being opened or anything. So I don't, I mean, I kind of have a thought or an idea of what I might expect, but I have, I really don't know. It's going to be a surprise for the both of us. Okay, battle box. What is it? Whoa. Okay. I saw some interesting things, that quick little glimpse. All right. This is the Mission Brief 67. I wonder if that's like the box. Like it says, you know, I wonder if like, you know, all the different boxes have names. So what is this here? This is something from Battle Box. What is this? Like a, what is this? I don't know. Let's see. It's in a Ziploc. It's like a, uh, like a plastic plaque or something under desk. Oh, this is an, okay. A battle tack under desk holster. So you screw this to the bottom of your desk and you put a gun in there and it holds just like that. That's pretty sweet. Okay. All right. That's something I can use there. <laughs> Very cool. What's up, Bryce? Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to more videos, too. And yeah, I will try to keep doing what I'm doing, man. I love what I'm doing. I'm glad I get to do it. Thank you for uh, helping me do what I do by watching. Uh, what's up, James? Got a new hammock for the Gini. What'd you get? All right, let's see. All right, here's something that I've got. I've got a solo stove. It's a pretty sweet, pretty cool, just a, a wood-burning small stove. Uh, I never used mine, though, so uh, anyways, they are definitely cool. Uh, now, okay, here's something sweet. I don't, I don't know what it is. Because, see, I'm not really up on a lot of the stuff that might be in here. Like, the kind of tactical stuff. That's not, you know, I'm not really up on that. So, this is all going to be interesting. Because some of this stuff is kind of tactical. -ish. Now, what is this? It's a grenade soap company. Okay. And it comes with a cool little bag. I like cool little bags. It's like a ditty bag. And, uh, is it a towel? Okay, so it's like a huge pack towel, I'm guessing. How big is this thing? Let's get back. Jeez. Jeez. It's like a beach towel. Cool. Okay, I kind of like this. I kind of like it. You know, it's kind of like my mini pack towel that I carry. It feels about like the same material, but the one that I usually carry is about like this big. Because <laughs> I'm a minimalist. But this little bag is very, very cool and very nice. Um, if I don't use this, I'll definitely be using the bag. Because <laughs> like I said, I do like little, you know, packing cubes and stuff. Uh, what's up, Jeff? Hey, I'm glad you enjoy the channel and cool fellow firefighter. Be safe, brother. Uh, you couldn't tell me you got it off Amazon. Hey, whatever, whatever. They're all about the same on Amazon. I mean, you know, you pay 25 dollars ish for a hammock a double layer or a double hammock they're all gonna be about the same really and truly uh, unless you want like bug net stuff but if you really want the good stuff you need to go to like more of a cottage uh vendor but that'll all come next when's the next kayaking trip um uh, the next kayaking trip is in like a week and a half i'm going whitewater rafting and whitewater kayaking what's up it's all right let me, let me get to opening this stuff uh what is this MK2, oh, okay, MK2 soap. So this is uh, some grenade soap. Let's, all right, we're going to have to check out the soap here. <laughs> You're kidding. Okay, it comes with, comes with a cable. Hmm. And then a soap. Grenade, can you see it? Grenade soap. Okay. I like it. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it's uh, increased ergonomics with pineapple-like grips. Oh, great for a tactical soap. Included stainless steel cable to help present soap drops. Brilliant, the Mavericks. A brawny fragrance, a pure rawhide on a clear day. <laughs> cool. Okay, I got some soap. I got some soap. 
Uh, what else is in here? And oh, no, okay. Now this is pretty cool. An heirloom vegetable kit. It's a bunch of seeds. Basically, the heirloom, uh, I don't know a lot about it, but I know that if you want, okay, what does heirloom, do they make their own seeds? Is that what kind of plant this is? So this is actually really, really good uh, for like a survival situation. And how long are they good for? Does it tell us that? No, it doesn't tell us that. How long these seed packets are good for? Oh, I was right. That is what the heirloom means. It means they're 100% open pollinated heirloom seeds that can be grown to produce seed again for generations to come. All right. I don't know how long they're good for, but this will be something that I'll keep, you know, in case, uh, you know, people start turning into COVID zombies or something. All right, what we got here? A biofilm defender. Ah, oh, water storage treatment. You know, I could actually use that. A free test kit. Treats 330 gallons. I could use this on the boat. Could it? Perfect. Perfect. I can use this. So basically, you just, I'm pretty sure this is something that you add to like a water storage system and it cleans it, right? Or just storage treatment. Maybe a biofilm defender. Maybe it's something different than that. Maybe just if you're planning on storing water for a very long period of time, like if you're a prepper or something, maybe this is what you need. Maybe. We'll see. I'll have to do some more research on it. All right, that looks cool. Here's some, uh, what is this? Just a hank of Southern Survival 100 foot of paracord. Okay, handy, handy. Now, what is this? This looks cool. Ooh, it's a knife. Revo knives. Now, me personally, I don't spend a lot of money on knives. Some people do spend a lot of money on knives. I got friends who have the bench maids and other knives that cost a hundred and something dollars. I have like uh, cheap, like more knives, and they work. They work for me. But here's a nice knife. My first nice knife. Oh, it's a Revo. Wow, it looks really cool. Well, you guys can see Revo. Thank you. Let's not turn it upside down and break this knife. It looks pretty cool. Whoa, look at that blade. Okay, that's a pretty nice knife. Wow, it opens and closes really good. I don't cut myself with it. Very nice. Okay, I'll probably have to start carrying this. I wonder, and it's looks like a funky looking steel. I wonder if it's like a really good rust resistant steel. That would be good in salt water because I do have a problem with some of my knives rusting. Of course, my Gerber multi-tool rust and I still use the sucker even though it's been rusting for years and uh let's see I my more knives they kind of develop a little bit of rust but it's mainly just surface rust that I think can be cleaned off but I usually just don't really clean it off I just kind of go with it all right well that man that is it yeah see here's one of my knives oh nasty and rusty this is just a shop knife though so it's nothing really special so all right we got some pretty cool stuff I think my favorite uh, is probably going to be this this bag. <laughs> and then, of course, the knife. And this holster is pretty cool. Um, I'll have to... I got a spot for it. So, soap's nice. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, nice battle box. Really, um, never had one of those before. But it's kind of cool to just get to open this stuff. But basically, you guys know probably know what it is. It's just a monthly subscription box. You just sign up for different... Tier levels of their boxes. I think this might be like a hundred and something. Was a hundred? I don't know. Hundred something dollar box. One hundred fifty six. Is that what I remember with my photographic memory? <clears throat> but you can sign up for these boxes and they send them to you every month. Uh, so hey, if you think that might be cool, you can do that. Uh, because of course this is pretty cool. Let's see what's going on here. Jack's life. What's up, Jack? I uh, hope you. Hey, me and the family are great. You went out for a paddle session earlier. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the content, uh, and I appreciate you sticking around on the live stream there, Jack. Let's see here. It's got the mosquito net. Oh, good, James. Yeah, dude, the mosquito net makes a difference. Uh, in the video that's coming up on Sunday, uh, when I went fishing on the paddleboard, <laughs> man, the bugs were totally killing me, and I probably, I still have some red bumps from the bugs, and that was like, that was a while back, man. That was like a week ago. Over a week ago. Gosh, man, they were tearing me up. It was ridiculous. So the bug net is definitely good. But I was in a special situation where I couldn't really get away from the bugs because I kind of wasn't supposed to be where I was supposed to be. But and then the wind started blowing. Storms started coming in and just blew all the bugs right on me. And it was horrible. It was terrible. You guys will get to see that video. <laughs> oh, man, all my stuff's been terrible lately. What's up, Chuck? I'm down in Florida. I remember you, Chuck. Denise, I'm glad you enjoyed the channel. 
Oh, these towels are the best. Just think ShamWow, but bigger. Yeah, really. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. And you know, I'm, this might be something that I'll, I'll carry on the on the boat, on the sea dory, because I'm kind of a stickler for small stuff and not carrying too much junk. Granted, this isn't junk, but I could get by with a smaller towel. But really and truly, when I go to the beach and stuff, I don't even use a towel. I don't even use a towel. I don't need a towel. I'm going to dry off. I mean, I, I don't know. This towel is just not my thing. But, yeah, I don't know. I might cut this thing down and use it. <laughs> or I probably would just use my little towel, I'll be honest with you. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Christina, what's up? Yeah, I'm having a great day. Hope you're having a great day too, Christina. And I was happy to hear that you might be able to come to Rocket Rock this year. That is fantastic. CC Levy said, I need to come to, oh my goodness, Natchitoches. Oh yeah, Natchitoches. Natchitoches. Where's that like? Is that in like Texas or Oklahoma or somewhere? I've heard that. Where did I hear that? Was that on 8 Seconds or somewhere where they talked about Natchitoches or something? Louisiana. Okay, my bad. I didn't read much of it. Best all-around freshwater fishing, kayaking, and everything. Yeah, that would be cool to come down there. Uh, I got a buddy, my buddy Ron. Um, he goes fishing down in Louisiana a lot, and he's always inviting me. And I really want to go. Um, and I was hope, and he's got one planned like next month or something. And I can't make it because I have. What will I be rafting then, or is that the skiff rally or something? I've already got something planned for that day. But hopefully, I will get down to uh, Louisiana and do some fishing around Biloxi and all that good stuff because. They say the fishing is just awesome there, and if I could get somewhere that has good fishing, it'd be nice. But fortunately, on my last trip, if you guys saw my Instagram story, I was catching some fish, and I was able to eat. But if you didn't catch the story, that video is going live on Sunday. I hope you see how the premiere, like Sunday early afternoon. Uh, what did you say? Chuck said, what do you do? Turn sideways to air dry? I don't know. No, I just kind of dry in the sun, just bask in the sun and I get dry. Or I will use the clothing that I wear to dry off with the clothing and then wring it out and then let the clothing dry. I'll use my clothes as a towel. Uh, I, I do that a lot, actually. Even when I'm not on a bitch like when I'm at work or if I go to the gym or really, I guess the main time that I do that is when I'm done with the gym, I'll come home and I'll get out of the water hose. Uh, this may be too much information, but I'll get out of the water hose and just my shorts, and then I'll uh, kind of walk to the back door and I'll uh, take my shorts off and I'll dry off with my shorts, <laughs> and then put the, and then wring the shorts out, and then I just go inside and hang the shorts up to dry and you know commando or whatever, all natural. Let's see here, Jack Slice, <laughs> would you ever consider taking your new boat down the Chattahoochee River? Heck no, <laughs> no sir, not at all. I uh, would not consider taking it down the Chattahoochee River. Um, uh, I mean, the, the, the Ginu was iffy down the Chattahoochee River, but mostly because uh, because the water was so low. The water was higher. Uh, I, w I may do the lower section of it, but no. I mean, there's other rivers I would rather go on than the Chattahoochee because there's, I mean, there's not a lot to see there. And if the water's high, some of the springs are going to be washed out, or if the water's high enough to take that boat down it or up it, nah. <clears throat> no, and plus, I mean, if I'm going to do a trip like that, I'm going to do it on my skiff or on a Ginu. Uh, you know, the, the big boat's kind of made for uh, a little bit bigger trips than that. Uh, what's up, Chris from North Carolina? Heck yeah, Patch. What's up, Patch? What is, what's Patch? Hey, trip from the Adirondacks. Nice. Retired IAAF. What? Oh, uh, something firefighter. What is IAAF? See, I, I don't really know all the firefighter stuff. I'm, I just show up to work, right? <laughs> Uh, I think he means the bag. Gotcha. Actually, I don't gotcha. I'm lost. What's he talking about, the bag? Bag. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I'm lost. Oh, Kenneth Richardson. You love to see Dory, man. And you're looking for one now. Kenneth, that is amazing. That's awesome. I was actually, two days ago, uh, a, a subscriber hit me up on Instagram and said, hey, I'm on the way to buy a sea Dory. Uh, <laughs> and I actually, I, I called him on the phone. As he was on the way to get it, because he left me his number, I just I just called him up. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, you're going to get a sea dory? He was like, yeah, man, I've been watching your channel for a while. And I saw you post a video about the sea dory, and man, I fell in love with it. So now I'm on the way now to go buy one. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, that's awesome. And he got one. It's the same year as mine. Uh, it's very similar, and I think he's really going to enjoy it. And looks like there's going to be a lot of people buying sea dories. But, I mean, I haven't even... I was supposed to go out on it today, but the weather just didn't cooperate. I was supposed to take the family out, but uh, 
I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I sure hope it's a good boat because everybody's going to be about buying them. Uh, but, you know, I haven't even really put it to the test yet. But I'm pretty sure it is because I did a lot of research and there's a lot of people. Like, one of the reasons I bought it was I get on these forums, right? And there's like the Seabrats forum. You can get on there and you read and you talk to these people. And I started messaging some people who own the boats. And I just started to learn that a lot of people who own sea dories are people who have a lot of experience on the water. Like, one of the guys... He, he's like almost sailed around the world on a 60 something foot sailboat he had. And I mean, he's done just cruising and stuff for years and years. But then as he got older, he wanted something simpler. And what boat did he choose? He chose the Sea Dory. There's a lot of folks like that who are very experienced seamen, you know, have a lot of time, uh, you know, at sea navigating, doing some serious cruising. And they're choosing Sea Dories as their boats. Uh, wow. I mean, that right there said a lot to me. It said, okay, this has got to be a good boat. So that's one of the reasons that I chose, chose a Sea Dory. So I think if you go out and buy a Sea Dory, I think you'll be happy. But uh, I guess if there's any limitations to it, I guess the limitation would be it is a flat bottom boat, but it does have a you know pretty deep, or not a deep, but a pretty sharp uh, a bow, you know, a V-bow entry. But the, the only thing is you can't go really fast and chop. Okay, you got to slow down and chop 15 mile an hour. Big deal, right? But that's the thing that um, most people don't uh, don't expect about the boat uh, whenever they buy it. Um, you know, th those who didn't do the research, but those who did the research understand the limitations like I do and are like, okay, hey, that's all right. It's a lightweight boat. It can go in super shallow water. It's uh, still a good cruiser with a cabin. It's very economical to run. Uh, it's easy to pull. So, okay, there is your trade-off. You can't go super fast and chop, but most people don't really go fast and chop anyway. Well, I don't know, I guess you're... If you're on a big center console, you do, because that's what they're made for, but they're not fuel efficient, right? So, and they don't have a cabin, and they're not lightweight. So, you know, you have your trade-offs, but, um, you know, I completely understood those trade-offs going into buying the boat, and I think I'm going to be cool with it and just be able to deal with it. Plus, once I, once I get it set up the way I want, um, there are certain things you can do to make it handle a little bit better in chop. So, I plan on doing those things. I'm just waiting for things to come in the mail, right? And then after I finish this video, I'm headed out there to work on her and to do some more filming to kind of film the video of what I'm doing to get the boat ready. Because I've, I've been pretty busy, but uh, I'm kind of making decisions and waiting on things to come in the mail and, you know, just trying to uh, do the right things first in the right order. Uh, have I been missing a bunch of stuff? Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, Benny wanted some people to kayak, to camp and kayak with. Patch, you need to go to Rocket Dock, man. Uh, that, that's a great place to just get hooked up with people who love to paddle and camp. Um, and, you know, everyone who's there wants to meet other people as well. So it's, it's just, just a great place if you can come to Rock Dock this year, all right? Jack's Life, understood um, it would run it a bit if the water was low or high for the spring. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I didn't get sideways to air dry either, Paxton. Uh, can't wait for your boat to get in the water. I hear you. It's Panda. Uh, I like that stove you need to try on. Yeah, the stove, yeah, I mean, the stove's okay. I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, the, you know, one of the reasons that I don't cook with a pot and boil water over a wood-burning stove is it just gets the stove, or it gets the pot black as I'll get out, and the stove black as I'll get out. Then you have to pack those things out, and you just end up getting soot uh, in different places, unless you're or soot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it just gets all over everything, so I don't do that much, which is why I don't use one of these stoves. And if I... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's why. <laughs> I'm weird. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yep, you will use that on the new boat. Use what on the new boat? No, I, I, I dang sure won't use this stove on the new boat. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely not because of, of the soot issue. Ab no. No, no. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm a stickler about keeping things clean. Uh, let's see. Craig Metcalf. Did you name the Sea Dory yet? I haven't named it yet, but I do have some names. Uh, I'm probably down to my last, maybe like three names. Uh, either My Yacht, which is spelled M-Y-O-T-T, -T, or Yacht, letter C, or C Trippin, T-R-I-P apostrophe N. I think that one is probably going to take the cake. Um, I, I did reach out to my patrons and ask them what, what they thought. And they kind of, you know, gave me some suggestions and kind of, uh, you know, let me know kind of what, what the vibe was because I value their opinion. And uh, those are the top uh, names. And 
I put up some friends and family and, you know, everyone else likes a different name, which sucks. Cause like, I don't want everybody to like a certain name. I didn't care which one it was. I just wanted, you know, everyone to say, trip this one, this one, this one. But no, that wasn't how it happened. So I've got to kind of pick one on my own, which I don't really like doing that. <laughs> I like having help when I make decisions, right? Let's see, Jack's Life said, Jeski down the Tennessee River, if you ever get 1 million subscribers, shoot you. I would absolutely love to do that. Yeah, yeah, yes. I mean, I would totally love to do a jet ski trip. In the Tennessee River, where does it even go? Does it go, does the Tennessee River go out to Mobile? Where does it go? I don't know where the Tennessee River goes. I think maybe to Mobile, that'd be it. Yeah, but yes, I would love to do a trip on a jet ski. If I get to a million subscribers, <laughs> Man, that's a long way away, but I'll probably be 60 by then. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I would definitely love to do a jet ski trip. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Panda said, what do you do for work? I'm a firefighter at the city of Dothan, Alabama, and I've been, to being a, I've been a firefighter for like five and a half years or something. I think it's four and a half, five and a half. I think it's five and a half years. <laughs> oh, you still like trips ship? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trip ship is, yeah, is, is a great one, but, you know, sea tripping, yeah, I don't know. See, I, there's not just one that's like, boom, that's the one. I wish there was, Russell. Uh, GP357, hey, Trip, what do you know about bona fide kayaks? Let's see, someone asked me that the other day, and it's good to see you. I'm glad you're here watching live. Uh, I mean, I remember I was at ICAST the first year bona fide. I came out with their kayaks. That's when they first unveiled them. And they're super awesome. I mean, they're 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 nice kayaks. Uh, they're good fishing kayaks. You know, they're they're kind of up there with Hobie ish, but I don't think they're quite as nice as Hobie. But they're not quite as expensive as Hobie. But I mean, I paddled one. I've seen several, and they're very nice kayaks. Uh, you know, just 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 get one that has the layout you want. Uh, and to me, I like an open layout. Uh, so you know, find one you want, get it. You're gonna be happy with it, right? I mean, it's, it's some of the nicest kayaks out there for fishing, for sure. Oh, it'd be mental. Yeah, I meant use the holster on the boat. I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll just carry, I'll just carry my spear gun on the boat, right? This little classic here is kind of just up there for decoration. But maybe I'll put a band on it, and get it working one day. That's kind of my, you know, what I was thinking I'd do. Uh, or just shoot him with a flare gun, right? <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see here. Tripsy. Yeah, see, yeah, see, I definitely thought of that one, um, sportswear. <laughs> I definitely thought of Tripsy, but I, you know, I'd be getting pulled over all the time or something, you know. <laughs> you know, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. And they'd probably be searching my boat for drugs and all kind of stuff, so I just, I just couldn't do that. <laughs> A bit Tripsy. <laughs> I mean, I do love, I, of course, I love the name. Russell Taylor, what's a plan... What's the plan, let's say, for the first trip for the channel on the Sea Dory? Um, there's not a, I don't, you know, I really, do, I, I, I don't know what it is first. Well, I kind of have one, an, an idea of one. I want to go from Panama City Beach to Port St. Joe and back. So that'll be my, my first, you know, blue water, or not blue water, but coastal trip that's going to be traveling in the Gulf. That'd be a nice and easy one. I think I can, uh, what was it, what's the mileage on that? Like a little over 100 miles or something. Uh, but I think that might be it. Uh, yeah, probably that will probably be the one. Un unless I do just like a little shakedown cruise, which I could do that as well. Uh, you know, one that doesn't include like a lot of traveling or, you know, going into possibly adverse conditions. Just something really simple and easy. Just be sure all the systems are working. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's the one that I'm thinking of and dreaming of doing first. Because that's one I've been wanting to do for a while. And I was going to do it on the... Kayo right there, which probably could handle it. I mean, which certainly could handle it on the right day, but the Sea Dory can handle it on pretty much any day. I mean, pretty much, you know, bearing a just straight up, you know, hurricane, right? <laughs> Bob, what's up, buddy? Uh, be sure to hit the like button, y'all. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Bob. Sea Trippin' sounds like a great name. Yeah, I agree, Bob. I, I think I think Sea Trippin' is, is, is pretty good. I really do think it's a pretty good one. Uh, boat name Dip Maker. <laughs> okay, I, I kind of like that. Uh, trip Dipping. Scott, look at you. Trip Dipping. Where's my pen? I'm writing that down. We're writing that down. I like it, Scott. Why haven't we thought of that one yet? Well done, Scott. Trip Dipping. Hey, that's, that's not too bad. That's pretty good, Scott. I love you. Appreciate that. Man, what if that's the one, Scott? You're going to 
You're gonna feel so awesome if that's the one we choose. When's the next skiff video, Panda? Uh, I don't know when the next skiff video is. Wait, yes, I do. Uh, let's see. My my next trip, I'm going to uh, Wildwater, and I don't know if it's in Tennessee or South Carolina. It's up, it's up there somewhere. Uh, I'm going whitewater rafting and whitewater kayaking, and then. Uh, after that is the skiff rally, which is where I've got, you know, several other subscribers on skiffs. We're all going down to do a trip uh, around Orange Beach, and that'll be like the second week or so in next month, whatever month that is, April, May, May, May. and <laughs> so uh, that'll be the next skiff trip, and I'm really, really excited about that one. And then hopefully after that, we'll have a sea dory trip. Jack's Life said boat name Trips Mori Smith and Dory put together. Trips Mori. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass on that one, Jackie. Love you, but I'm going to pass on Trip Trips Mori. <laughs> it's like a member of your family. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. I don't know. I, I kind of like Trip trip Dipping or Sea Tripping. Man, that's going to be a tough one. Who was that, Scott? Who said that, Scott? I hope I don't remember. Well, of course, I come back and rewatch this video, and I can give you credit for naming the boat, right? All right, you guys. Well, it's been 26 minutes. I appreciate all of y'all tuning in for this quick little live stream. Uh, I've got to get to work uh, tinkering with the boat because I have a lot of things to do to get it, like, super-duper ready to go. Um, but, of course, I won't be taking it out on an actual adventure for a while, so I've got a lot of time. But, of course, I'm eager to get things done on the boat. All right, folks, take care of yourselves. God bless, and stay tuned for the next live stream. Or actually, hopefully I'll see y'all on Sunday afternoon for the premiere of the next adventure. And then uh, y'all probably, if you don't catch me before, uh, we'll definitely have some live streams and stuff when I'm up doing some rafting and stuff. So that will be great. Uh, my work schedule is 24 on, 48 off. Calvo, you missed everything. You missed everything, Calvo. Uh, let's see here. Um, it's Panda. Are you going to make a progress video on the boat? Yes, I am. That's what I'm going to be. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm filming a little bit of what I'm doing on the boat. Not like, you know, really in-depth stuff, but like just the, all the different steps I'm taking to get her ready. So yes, there will be a progress video on the boat. Sea trucking. Yeah, pretty good, JD. All right. Glad y'all enjoy everything. Thank y'all for being here. Take care of yourselves. God bless. Get out there and, uh, I'll see you in the next video, right? See you Sunday. All right. Love ya. Adios, amigos.